stand. Good girl, sit. Hug me. Good girl. Little Miss Jenny has a new collar. She's maybe six months old now, which is really hard to believe. Recently, I shared a really delicious honey salted caramel recipe with an essence called Mille Fore, which is a floral essence. And somebody really loved them and they asked, hey, what about fudge? Do you have a fudge recipe with honey? And I didn't. And so I thought, wow, what a great excuse. I should make one. They turned out really, really good. The honey that I actually used was a whipped honey, which is from springtime. Uh, whipped honey is a cream honey. It's a little bit thicker. You can totally use this because the cooking process warms the honey. So I suggest using a lighter, very sweet honey for this. Also in the recipe features our pure vanilla extract. Check out our video for that if you'd like to make your own. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Just hit that red button and that doorbell so you're notified when new videos come out. This really helps us gain subscribers so one day YouTube will generously donate to our little nonprofit. Let's get busy in the kitchen. We're gonna get started by lining an eight by eight inch baking pan with parchment paper. One trick is to fold the paper in half, which makes it easy for a knife to go through, and this will better fit the pan. We're going to first grease our measuring cup so the honey doesn't stick to it. And it's just shy of half a cup. We're gonna be using 100 grams, so do use a scale for this. Fun fact, it takes 288 bees their entire lifetime to make a half a cup of honey. It's truly a gift that they're giving us. Look at that nice honey. Grab a little bit of pink Himalayan salt and take a pinch and sprinkle it over the honey and just set that aside. Cut the butter into little chunks so it melts faster later on. You're gonna be using 150 grams which is about 15 tablespoons, and set that aside. In a heavy, large pot, add one and one-third cups unsweetened evaporated milk. Pour in two-thirds cups water, and pour in three and three-fourths cups white sugar. Place on medium heat, stirring constantly with a wooden or silicone spoon. When it begins to steam, add in the local honey and salt. Once it starts boiling, stop stirring completely and add the thermometer to the side of the pan, ensuring that it does not touch the bottom. Without mixing, carefully watch it and cook about 10 or 15 minutes until reaching the soft ball stage, which is 237 to 239 Fahrenheit. Remove from heat, whisk in butter, about a tablespoon at a time and then whisk in the vanilla extract. Put a little bit of the syrup onto a plate and freeze briefly. After a few minutes, pull it out of the freezer and taste. See if you need to adjust adding more salt or vanilla. Now you wanna stop stirring and allow it to cool to 110 degrees Fahrenheit, either slowly on the countertop or faster in a sink filled with cold water. After cooled, beat mixture vigorously until thick and it's lost most of its glossiness. Pour the mixture into the line pan. Smooth the top with an oiled rubber spatula. Cool one hour at room temperature or 30 minutes in the refrigerator. When mixture is firm, Remove from pan by gently pulling up the parchment paper. Place onto a cutting board. Use a sharp oiled knife to cut into desired sizes. You could also, for fun, use a heart-shaped cookie cutter or cut into one-inch squares if this is for a gift. Placing the fudge in a pretty gift box is really special, especially when you use the little candy wrappers. You can also put them in a glass container with some foil that's different colors as well. Makes a really pretty gift. Now here comes the romantic part. Top off with pecans, cranberries, sliced almonds, anything you want. This makes it look like a fancy box of chocolates. 
And for an extra romantic touch, use rose petals. This makes it absolutely decadent and so romantic. Use edible geraniums, pansies, violets, orange blossoms, anything you can find from your garden or even your specialty florist or supermarket. This makes a gorgeous gift for honestly any time of the year. Use parchment paper to make a nice cover. Once again, just fold it in half and place it on top with those beautiful foils peeking through. The rose buds and petals are my absolute favorite with this fudge. You can dress this up or dress this down for honestly any occasion. I can't decide what's better, the way it tastes or how it looks. So decadent. That's it. Super fun and easy. For recipe details and product links, just click show more below. Then scroll down. For questions or comments, please do that below. Oh. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for being happy. <gasps> meow, meow, meow. Bye. Oh, kitty torture, kitty torture.